Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 12.4 differentiating quadratics. 12.4 represents chapter 12, section 4 of the person A level maths, pure maths, year 1, textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Now, this key fact over here was covered in 12.3. Let's have a look at this. Consider the quadratic equation y equal ax squared plus bx plus c for some constants a, b, and c where a is not equal to 0. Now, dy by dx, the gradient function, is given by differentiating term by term over here. So if we start off with the first term, we can bring down the 2. So we've got 2ax to the power 2 take away 1, which is 1. You don't need to write 1 there. When you differentiate bx, that becomes b, because if you've got bx, the power of x is 1. So you can bring down 1. That's 1 times bx to the power 1 take away 1, which is 0. So 1 times b is b, x to the power 0. But we know that anything to the power 0 is 1. So we've got b times 1, which is b. This is why bx differentiates to b. C is a constant. If you differentiate a constant, you get 0. Let me explain why. So if I draw a coordinate grid, and I draw y equal c, where c is a positive constant, for example. It could be negative. But for now, let's just treat c to be a positive constant. c could also be 0. But anyways, c is greater than 0. y equals c will be a flat horizontal line cutting the y-axis at c. Now over here, what you notice is that the gradient dy by dx is equal 0. It does not have a steepness. It's a flat horizontal line. This is why when you differentiate a constant, you get 0. Okay, so this here is the key fact of this teaching video, 12.4 differentiating quadratics. I'll be implementing this key fact within this exam style question. Let's have a look at the exam style question. Find the coordinates of the point on the curve with the equation y equal x squared plus 5x minus 4, where the gradient is 3. So what we have is that the gradient is equal 3. This implies that the gradient is precisely dy over dx. This must equal 3. So we're going to start by working out the dy over dx. I've got y equal x squared plus 5x minus 4. So dy over dx is equal, bring down the power, so 2x to the power, 2 take away 1, it's just 1, but you don't need to write 1 there. If you differentiate 5x, that becomes 5, and if you differentiate the minus 4, that becomes 0. So this here is my dy by dx. So I need to set my dy by dx equal to 3, because the gradient is equal to 3. So 2x plus 5 is equal 3. Now I can solve for x. I've got 2x is equal minus 2, hence x is equal minus 1. This is the x coordinate. I need to now work out the y coordinate. So when x is equal minus 1, y is equal minus 1 squared plus 5 times minus 1 minus 4. So I've got y equal 1 minus 5 minus 4. So y is equal 1 minus 9, hence y is equal minus 8. So at the point minus 1, minus 8 on the curve, y equal x squared plus 5x minus 4, the gradient is 3. This completes the exam style question and this teaching video 12.4 differentiating quadratics. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.